Hi, my name's Sherry. Welcome to my stamp workshop. I have a really fun card for you today. It's a wintry, um, Christmassy card. You could change the colors and it could be fall. You could change the colors and it could be summer. You could change the colors and it could be spring. So it uses the In the Pines bundle. And I felt like I had some really cute cards and I thought, where'd I put them? And then I realized they're in the class, so I can't show you. I do have a class that's closing and I, it's already happened once. So the second time will be the last time that I'm offering it. These are just some of the ones that I have posted already tutorials for. There are a couple of more as well. Um, so I do have several tutorials up for it on my channel already that you can see. And then there are four in my class that you can get the class just the videos or you can get the bundle that comes with all the supplies to make the four projects. And they're super cute. That's why I wanted to show them to you, but you only get to see them if you're in the class. So the, the bundle that you get in the class is the stamps and the dies. And then the folder that is the evergreen folder matches. You don't get it in the class, but you could add it or I know a lot of you already have it. Um, I am going to use that today. Today I'm not using any of the stamps. I'm just going to use the fabulous dies and we are gonna use the folder. So it's a quick card, but I just wanted to remind you that it's coming up for our close. It is Labor Day weekend and today the weather's not cooperating. So I thought maybe I could get a bunch of tutorials done and then tomorrow I'll be able to spend some more time outside. So for this card, there's not a whole lot that you need. I have some shimmer white card stock and I'm going to put it on a vanilla card base. Um, and then this is the part where you can change the season. So I have Seaside Spray, Misty Moonlight, and Bermuda Bay. So this is where we're gonna get our winter. Um, and then you need a stamping, a, a roller sponge, and then these little things pop out. So I put a new one in. And I've already made the card once. So I started with light and I went to dark. So since I'm gonna go back to, to the light, you just make sure that your sponge is mostly clean. So I'm gonna start with Seaside Spray and my hands are dirty. I didn't really intend to film this card next, um, but my hands have blue ink, so I thought I might as well just go ahead. And here's some tips when you use these sponges. Roll, continual roll, like this. I see a lot of people when they sponge and they roll like this, so all it does is you just have to think about it for a second. If you're rolling like this, you're only inking that one little section, right, of your sponge. So continually roll like this. So for our seaside spray, we're gonna kind of get this snow, like the lightest section of our snow. And again, continual roll. Because if, again, if you just do this, you're just gonna get the ink off of one portion of your sponge. And I don't mind if my seaside spray is kind of light. If you do a lot of this technique, then you will need to get refills, which you should get refills. When you buy a stamp pad, you should just buy the refill. Then you know you have it. So that's kind of good for our seaside spray. Then I'm gonna go Bermuda Bay. And I um, had balmy blue, but then I decided I wanted my card to be a little bit brighter. And since I rolled most of the ink off, I don't need to clean it. And I'm going from a lighter color to a darker color. So again, just roll back and forth. And then when you do dark colors, I find it helps to start off the edge of the paper because if you start on it, then you're gonna get that blotch kind of where your um, sponge first touched the paper. And then kind of overlap them. And I don't mind that the white's showing through on this card. On some cards, I might not want it to show through. But on this, we're going kind of for snow. So for this, it can have that little bit of white peek through. And then I'll just get a little bit more. And again, start off the edge because where it first hits, it's gonna grab that ink. And kind of just go back and forth. And then get our Misty Moonlight. And this, it can be the darkest because it's gonna be our night sky. Again, roll back and forth. Not, I mean, continual roll. And start off the edge. So you do wanna make sure you work, you're working on scrap paper. It's kind of fun and you can see where it gets those double overs and you can see why your fingers get dirty. And the shimmer white's really, yeah, the shimmer white has that nice coating on it so it's shimmery and pretty, but it also has a little bit more of a work time for your ink. 
if you saw some of the glossy paper from when we sold it, and you can get the shimmer white to pretty much be misty moonlight paper, except with a shimmer coat. So there we go. It would also make a pretty t-shirt. <laughs> so there we've got that. So here's our misty moonlight inked paper, and there's our misty moonlight cardstock. So you can see it gives a really nice, I went dark with this. If I had stopped a coat roll or two more, then it would have been the exact same color. And then see if I wanted to go back to my next card. I've rolled almost all the ink off that. So you just roll it till it's clean. You don't want to get it wet and then put it on your next stamp pad. Um, but you can pretty much roll the ink right off that. You can see now it's pretty much rolled clean. So I could go back to the Seaside Spray and it's rolled clean. So there's a how-to sponging technique for you. So we've got this and then I have the two dies I'm going to use with my trees and then you get two snowscapes. I'm going to use the one that's got the hillier, hillier, is that a word? Hillier snow. So let's roll these things through our machine. I do have a special, I'm not quite sure what order I'm going to post these. So you may check, I may still be giving away a magnetic platform and I may extend it today since I'm recording more this weekend than I intended to. So you might go to my website because it might last longer than I intended. I may do an extended Labor Day special, but all month long you can get a free folder from me. So you, if you don't have the evergreen folder, you could get it. So this is cut five and a half, this piece of shimmer white um, across, and then it's just a scrap the other way because my shimmer white the other way was a full quarter sheet of cardstock, for, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And now this is five and a half, which will give us this nice little snow hill at the bottom. And these are literal scraps, so a, sh a scrap of shimmer white and a scrap of misty moonlight. And just run those through. If you buy your machine, you get four free classes from me. And I'll teach you um, tips on your machine, and then we'll do one on folders, one on dies, and then one on specialty plates. And they'll be over the course of a month. And then you can just always go back and refer to them as you get to know and use your machine. And then we're going to take this fun piece that we've made here. So you didn't, I didn't want to do this first. You want to give it just a second to dry and the fun evergreen folder. And you can see it's huge, so it gives you tons of um, room to use it. But I do want this to be our sky. You can see my inky fingers. Um, so just put your tree tips towards the top. And then you're always going to send this in through first. And then you need your gray plate. that through and it's just stunning on its own see how pretty that is but we're gonna make it even prettier you might want to use a um, larger piece of scrap cardstock you can see I overrolled a little bit so here's our vanilla base so fold this in half and then I've got another piece of scrap and then you may have, if you've seen my Halloween trifold the other day, this is what's left of what I made from that. So I have some shimmer, it's alcohol and shimmer, the frost white shimmer paint mixed together. Let me get those out in a second. And I'm just gonna lay all my pieces on here. You don't wanna put a ton of it on here because even though it's alcohol, it will dry fast, but it could smear your, smear your Stuff, but we'll make that nice and shimmery and then we'll get our tree I mean it's on shimmer white already so it doesn't need a ton that will show the most because it's just misty moonlight and then we'll put a little bit more shimmer on our that's so pretty so that dries really quickly because it is alcohol but I did it first and then I'll take a second to poke these out. You could use the rolly poker, but since I've got the alcohol in here, I don't want to get my um, rollies all shimmery. 
And this will give it just a second to dry while you guys are watching. So I'll fast forward this part of the video and then I'll be back. Okay, so in about a, the same amount of time that it takes me to poke these out, then it's pretty much dry. So now let's just mount this together. And I'm, I may have post these in different orders um, than what you've seen. But you know I'm a big fan of, here's the shimmer card of this. Mm, I was going to show you the one. But I'm a big fan of showing you a couple of things in a row to use. I was going to show you what it, oh, here they are. So this probably won't have posted yet. It was my intent to post it first, but I just used these. So you'll be able to go back and watch that. Um, even though I've already filmed it and intended to post it first, but I used the holiday rhinestones on that card. So I'm gonna use them again on this one. That way, if you have them, here's two ideas. This is just stamp and seal. That's all you need because that's, again, it's just alcohol. If it was water and it was that much of anything, you'd probably need the seal plus but this is gonna hold it fine. And again, it's the full size of the card. So stick that on there. My hands are even bluer now than they were before. That's why I went ahead, just went ahead and decided to film before I kept stamping and my hands got worse and there was the point of no return. Maybe it'll get nice enough I can go out and swim and then it won't, then it'll come off the fun way and not having to wash them. So stick this on the bottom and again it's five and a half so it goes from bottom to bottom here and then we'll stick it just takes a little bit of seal on the back of these and I only added the seal to the corners of my snow because that way you can stick your trees under where you want them to be. And you can see now that that went from being, it matches the Misty Moonlight all the better because it's got that shimmer spritz on it. See, it's really close in color now. You wanna be careful because it's still a tiny bit damp. I don't want them to tear these. So I'm trying to get the um, seal on it. If you're doing these at home, just give it a second longer to dry. Because you know when paper's a little damp, it can tear when you're putting your adhesive on it. So put this one back here. And then we're going to take these rhinestones. Almost finished. It's a super pretty card for the amount of time and effort that it takes. So I'm going to take that um, navy one, large one. Maybe if I can get it. Put that at the top and these are going to help hold the trees on too since they don't have a ton of adhesive on them and put the pool party on the top of that one and then our big tree is going to get some decorations oops and they're all going to be the pool party ones so i'm going to do the small ones there's um, two different sizes so there's these big ones that went on top and then just pool party ones And I know I usually have the rule of three, but when you're using your embellishments for something fun like this, it can be as many as you want. Or as many as you have in this case, because I've almost used them all. I have Misty Moonlight paper stuck to my hands. So there we go. Super shimmery, super pretty. So if you wanted to do a summer version, just change it so it's maybe more of a sunset colors, like you could do purples and oranges, or if you're doing springs, do some light pinks and greens. If you're doing fall, obviously you could do colors of fall. Um, but this is a pretty Christmas winter version. This one, had, I think I like it a little bit better. I went a little higher up on the seaside. This one doesn't give me a lot of, um, my Bermuda was a little bit bigger, but equally pretty. So I hope you enjoy that. If you're interested in taking In the Pines class, there are two versions of it. You can get just the videos or you can get the kit bundle and the kit bundle does come with the stamps, the dies, and all of the paper supplies to make four, four projects. So if you don't have the folder, it doesn't matter because when you get your, um, your supplies for your four cards, I've already run the paper that you need through that die. So you literally just, it's done for you. So if there's any punches, there is a punch. Um, it's already been punched out and stuff in case you don't have that. And then you just need shades of greens, browns, I think 
oranges. And I don't know. It's on the thing because the cards that we do are all kind of obviously nature based. So you can make it work with a lot of different colors. So everybody have a great day. Bye.